good morning. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, hope you can hear me. Well, uh, I guess I need to know what your uh, collab is, and if I can, I, uh, I'm going to be at a standstill for about eight weeks. I have to get surgery on my thumb. Uh, it's kind of weird, but I have to have a joint replaced, and, uh, and I'm, I'm going to be out of commission for a while. I can hear myself. I don't, I can't hear if uh, things are going okay. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Oh, great, great. Thank you. Well, uh, today we're going to be painting a sea otter. Uh, we'll probably get the base coat on this week and then next week we'll finish it up. Um, but I want to wait, oh, at least a few more minutes to see if people come in. I just wanted to make sure my my setup was working because it's been a couple weeks since I haven't done it, so I always forget things. But uh, we're going to do a sea otter. Um, I was watching um, Shark Week, and apparently in some areas the sea otter is starting to become extinct because the sharks are taking a bite into them that they die, but they don't eat them. They just kind of spit them out. So, um, and I, I mean, to me, these, these little buggers look so cute. I, uh, I don't have a decent picture, but this is the one that we're going to be painting. Uh, my printer didn't print that off too well. Um, for some reason, the dark shades in my printer won't print right. I don't know. And I, I did maintenance on it and everything, but, uh, he just had such a cute little face, so I thought, you know, this would be great. I got this off of Pixabay, and um, I thought he would be adorable, a little, you know, I like to make people aware that things are happening. Oh, did you see that one, Grayscale? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a sad little thing to hear, you know, see that. I always feel bad for animals when they're having issues in life, but I guess that's just a environmental chain or whatever of certain things. So, yeah, those, uh, those poor little sea otters. <laughs> I felt so bad. They looked so cute, and then they're all chewed up because, well, they just take a bite. I, I can't understand that, that they just take a bite out of it, and, and that's it. So, yeah, I guess, uh, let's see, time is, oh, we still got a few minutes yet. Yeah, so I'll probably be available for a couple more weeks, and that's it. Oh, maybe that's what it is, too. Yeah, I know that they went into it uh, thinking th they were trying to figure it out. Um, but look at that cute face on these. I think they're just so cute. Uh-oh. We went into... A different mode here. Let's see why that happened. Oh dear. I don't know why this keeps happening on my... Okay, we're going to go off a minute. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that keeps doing that. I don't know why. That's off my camera. It just goes into that mode. 
there we go. It'll change there in a minute. Yeah, the otter doesn't take, that's right. Yeah, and I don't know how to adjust that to get that screen off of my camera. I never had that before. Um, oh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do to keep it from going. I'll start recording. Then that way uh, I can, that'll stay off of there if I record it. I don't know how to shut that off. I'll have to look it up in the thing, uh, in the manual. I just got this camera not too long ago. Um, I, I got it off of Mer Mercari, I think it's called. It's a really nice camera, but I didn't, you know, like it, it was a lot cheaper off of there. It's in the settings. Okay. I'll have to check that. Yeah, I was surprised I was able to set this thing up right today um, without any problem. And I'm not getting any feedback, or I don't know if you guys can hear any feedback, but usually I'll hear it from this end, and it seems pretty good. Yeah, I have a book. I'll have to check it. A few more minutes yet. Oh, good. Good. No feedback. Good. I must have uh, fixed that the last time and, and it's still okay. Well, I'm going to get this picture off of here now. We got various colors that are going to be in the um, the underpainting. Um, I'm going to be using grays, blues, purples, uh, some orange, um, some magenta. Uh, there's a lot of colors going on in in this uh, piece. Yellows. Should be fun to paint. follows me everywhere I go. Okay, let's see. Still about four more minutes. I hate to get started sooner and then everybody gets, you know, that gets in here. I'd like to make sure everybody comes in. Start putting some paints out on my uh, palette here. 
Uh, the first paint I'm going to use is a light blue um, permanent basics. And I'm going to have some purple. This is a gray purple, and this is a master's touch. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to have a little magenta too, so I'm going to get that one out. This is Quinacridone Magenta. And I'm going to put a little black out. This is Basics, I mean, Windsor Newton Galleria. Put my black down here and some white. This is a Basics Liquitex Basic White. And I'll probably use a lot of white, so. You can see that. There we go. See those colors. Okay, so maybe we can just get started. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one minute till. So I always like to do an underpainting. Um, it's just something that uh, I was taught, um, but not this method. Uh, normally it's either like a gray or, or not a gray, well, gray or sienna uh, type and just the wash over it. But um, I like to actually paint. And what I do is I posturize the picture because I have Photoshop. And that kind of gives me different shades uh, that are going on in here. Um, so we're going to do this now. Uh, let's see. We're going to start. I'm going to work from the top down. Uh, I'm going to mix a little pink. So I'm going to get that quinacridone magenta and mix a little bit of white. Well, quite a bit of white, I guess, because I want a nice pink. And that's a nice shade right there. Okay. And I have some of that around in in this area up in here by his top of his head and some comes over here and it's just very little pink not a lot I have a little bit over here And I'm just, I'm using a number um, eight bright for this. Okay. And uh, let's see, we've got some, I'm going to rinse this up. And I got a lot of blue because this is actually the ocean back here. So I got a lot of blue going on here. Okay, so right by his ear, got some blues. This is a bristle brush. I thought I'd try something different today.
using a smaller brush. But you, you know, you have to use what you feel comfortable using. Um, going into my purple, I'm not even going to rinse out my brush here. I'm just going to kind of put the purple in here. Kind of blend it a little bit. more of that blue blend that up into that and the, here I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my brush I'm just kind of blending it in there oh, something's going off I don't know what it is can hear the beeping and right in here it's white but it's going to be a little shade of blue right now lighter blue just blending it up we got some white in through here also so just kind of lighten that up Kind of just blend them in together, kind of lighten them up a little bit. I always like to posturize my pa my pictures because. You find a lot of different shades in there that you didn't really know that you had the under part of the painting. And if you do uh, pastels, this is a great way to do pastels too. You get those vibrant colors underneath. It kind of makes things pop a bit. Put a little white in there. I'm almost mixing these colors on my canvas. I'm going to rinse this out. I have a little bit of gray there too, so I'm going to get my uh, gray out. Here we go. This is also uh, a neutral gray and it's a master's touch. I really like their paints. Um, they really are nice and they're reasonable, especially if they have the 50% off. You can get your paints pretty reasonably. And uh, I'm so glad they put a Hobby Lobby near me. Because at one point they weren't even close to me. Just going to blend all this. All right, and let me get a little gray and then mix some white in there. Now I uh, will have the tracing on my Patreon site. And once this uh, gets uploaded to YouTube because it takes a while for it to process um, I will make sure that the link is there uh, but I like to put my tracings after the whole painting is completed because that way and I, I switched to a number 14 bright because um, I want to cover a little bit more area and I'm just going to put some white in through here a lot of white in here. This is basically going to be a blue color shade here anyway, so I uh, just want to get a lot of this in. You 
Yeah, so I'll be out of commission for about eight, six to eight weeks uh, where I'm not going to probably be able to work or do anything. Um, very upsetting. Uh, never thought that would be the case. I thought if any joints would be replaced, it would be my hip or knee or something, but never my thumb. Okay, so there's there's a little bit of blue in through here. We got some of the purple whiten that up a little bit. It's a gray purple and that just is perfect for what I need here. Little splotches. Yeah, so if you do any kind of pastel work, um, this underpainting is really helpful. Uh, I did, well, uh, before I went into acrylics uh, that were, I, you know, steady with it, I was doing pastel work, uh, which, you know, pastels are very difficult at times because if you overdo on your paper, um, I'm going to put a little bit of that pink in here also, uh, you know, it builds up on the paper and it kind of just turns gray. It's just awful looking. So if you, uh, Put one of these down and you use some sanded paper it really makes a difference i um i worked in that for a while i haven't worked in pastels for uh some time i i was actually president of the pastel association around here but um i just got tired of the pastels and then a couple of the people that were pretty prominent pastelists had passed away uh, they got cancer, and I think it was because of the pastels. Um, it's not one of the cleanest, but the pastels are so pure, like your cadmiums and things like that, so it, it kind of... Several people that I knew had the problem and passed away. Maggie Price... There was another one, uh, her, her last name was Ford. I can't recall her name, last, her, her first name. And I had met all these people. I didn't meet Maggie Price. I was so devastated when she passed away because, um, because I was uh, president of the Pastel Association here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I went to the, um, it's called IAPS, uh, International Association of Pastel Artists. And uh, I went to the convention. Well, she had already passed right before the convention, which was so devastating. I just felt so bad. And um, it was kind of sad for everybody. And uh, she was like the president of that organization at the time. She was a wonderful artist, very nice, very nice person. But I guess what happened, she had a brain tumor. And she didn't die actually of that. She died because of, um, she got pneumonia. And that ha that's how she passed. She was just so weak, I guess, from chemo and all those things. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, you just, you just don't know what can cause things. Okay, and in here it's a blue. Well, I should use my smaller brush here to blend this out. I think there's a 
tear some glue into that. We'll get here. It's raining out. It's so humid here. <clears throat> I'm just blending over this just so I don't have any line lines showing because I don't like that, that's for sure. Just blending it over with some white. Okay, so the next part I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get his eyes in and all the darks in. <clears throat> Have a little swig of coffee. Mm. Yeah, cadmium is in it. Uh, pastels are definitely uh <clears throat> oh I could shut off the display mode. Okay, I'll have to do that. Well, I, I'm recording this, so this is a good thing, too, because I have something to fall back on, even though I am recording it through the webcaster, so I have a double backup. But <clears throat> anyways, back to cadmium colors. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't, when you buy these acrylics, they're like hues. A lot of them are hues because the cadmium is the bad, but because the pastels are so potent in actual colors, you know, they, they can't make hues on some of those. <clears throat> and that dust from that cadmium gets right into your lungs. So it can be really harmful. Okay, so I'm just going to start blocking in some dark shades here. <clears throat> in his eyes. This little ear and then there's some gray here so I'm gonna pick up some gray just stick it in here <clears throat> there's some dark gray here so we're just gonna go full blast on the gray right now I'm just tapping it in actually just kind of tapping it so it just comes down Past his little whisker there. A little bit of black right in here. Okay. And I'm going to get some white, mix some nice gray again, lighter gray. Basically, I'm just kind of almost drawing this in. Uh, well, this is still wet. I could probably mix a lot of this over on top of uh, this gray. This is a, a very um, tedious little bit of painting, but it all just works out so nice when the painting's finished. I did this on another painting, I think, that I did live, 
uh, I can't remember which one it was, but um, when I'm doing, I think when I did the elephant, I did this. Uh, when I'm painting something that is really special, I go through this process. It just, um, it enhances things. It really enhances everything. There's a little bit of uh, glow right here on the top of his head. So we're putting in this white right now so it doesn't get dirty with any other paints. And we'll just blend this out here. This here part is actually gray. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do for eight weeks. I'm going to go nuts not painting. <clears throat> I was able to finish the um, book, <clears throat> my daughter's book. I got the one, you know, I got them all painted. I just have to kind of clean them up a bit. But okay, this is all kind of all gray here. This is a lighter gray in through here. Um, <clears throat> let's get that eye in. <clears throat> the eye is very black in this picture. There's just a little bit of light. here. Even at this point, once you get the eyes in, it just seems like uh, he al almost comes alive. <clears throat> Okay, now this eye is a little smaller, and I think it's just the angle of his um, picture and the way it was taken. <clears throat> There's a little blue in his eye here, a little touch of blue, and uh, a little touch of white. And some gray. I'm just using the tip of my brush here. <clears throat> so around his eye, it's pretty dark gray. Eight weeks. I know. They told me that my hand would not feel like new and for about six months. It's almost just like getting a hip replacement. Um, the other day I was cutting this one guy's hair and he had a he had a hip replaced and he said he said it took about six months and that's what they told me about my thumb. And I don't know I mean I never heard of this before but when we went back to work after the quarantine and I only do this part time because I'm retired. Um, when we went back after the quarantine, we were so busy, and my hand just flared up. I couldn't even move. I mean, I couldn't eat right. I, I my husband had to help me with things, uh, 
and it just hurt so bad and it was all swollen it's still swollen and it's my right hand of course because uh, that's my dominant hand and um, I forget where I was going with this but anyways it, it was very painful and uh, I went to a uh, a bone specialist and they said that that's what happens and mostly in women mostly women get that and I have it in my left hand too but I don't think I'm gonna get that done because I don't use that hand that much I just kind of use my right hand more than anything but <clears throat> Well, I'll tell you that, uh, and it still hurts. It's, I mean, uh, certain ways that I, you know, use my hand if I'm, you know, using it in a certain way. And sometimes after work, <laughs> I, it's a little sore than, you know, other times, uh, depending on how busy we are at work. Yeah, that was my first profession, hairstylist, or, you know, cosmetologist, and at the time when I went to school, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a great paying job. I mean, and it depends on what salon you get to go into, how you get paid. Now, this is because this is uh, sports clips. You uh, get like a nice little salary, you know. You get paid by the hour, especially if you're not busy. Like right now, it's touch and go. We don't have a whole bunch of people coming in, but, um, okay, I think we got this pretty well in there. Maybe get a little bit more white here on my brush. Now, he has a little bit of purple up here. He has some right in here also, right above this area here, some purple. <clears throat> and some of this red, which is pretty deep. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my magenta to my pink here. Now I'm not rinsing off my brush. I'm just wiping it. <clears throat> Some of this in here. Just tapping this in some of this in here. And through here a bit. Just tapping it in. Because it's not a lot that's in there. I'm going to rinse this out now. But another cloth. Okay, I do want to get this dark in here, I think. Um, part of his nose area. I mean, this is a major part of his look. There's a lot going on here. And there's some that comes up through here. And right here. There's other shades that go into that.
kind of looking at what I have here as my posterized photo. And I can have this on Patreon too, as well uh, as with the traceable. That way you get an idea of how this looks. <clears throat> Up in here, we've got this too, so. <clears throat> Just get all these dark parts in. wash here. It goes around like that. Kind of. Just jaggedy, jaggy kind of like look there. Okay. So let me see here. Get some of this red because there's a lot of that in here. Goes right into this. I'm gonna make this a little darker right now. <clears throat> I'm mixing it with that black. I'm mixing it with the black and. Uh, Right in through here, also, there's a couple red spots. Okay, and we'll just go back into my black again, get this all covered up. Larger brush here to cover up more, more of the painting. A little quicker here. It, it's something how this almost brings this pick painting out, um, even though it's the underpainting. red in here. Right in through there. There's quite a bit of it in here too. It goes out. This is the quinacrinone magenta. Yeah, if you look at my elephant painting, I did the exact same kind of thing with the undercoating. Um, of course, I didn't do that live, but it, it, you know, you see it through the, out the painting and how I did it, how I started it. And 
this is actually, I feel the hardest part of this process is this, getting this all put in here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, right in here. Okay, it comes down. Comes around here. blend this out so that it doesn't have a line. We don't want any lines in this because they're hard to get out if you don't because this is sort of like a um, almost like a transparent shade here. get the rest of his smelt in there. Oh, I gotta put this in here before I go any further. I wanna get his, that's pink. That's actually pink in his, in the final painting process. Here, this is like the pinkish shade. rest of his little snout filled in here. is this comes around here so just lighter shades through there <clears throat> If I can blend that a little bit better with um, with a bigger brush, larger brush here. There we go. going to add a little white. Well, I'm going to go into my pink mixture that I made. Just make it a little kind of like lightness up here. A little lighter here. And through here. Just lighten that up a bit. And 
I just put it a little bit on the bottom of this part here. Nothing, you know, too much there. <clears throat> there is a is some pinks in. Well, actually, that's like an orange pink. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange. This is Cad Light. Maybe that wouldn't be such a good shade here. I'm going to uh, use this one here, uh, Master's Touch Orange. Yeah, he's starting to look real cute. <laughs> okay, a little bit of orange out. Lots of oranges in here on this uh, right side here. Lots of orange. Um, I want to get his little ear over here also done. Let's see here. That's black as well. And I've got to get some uh, black right here. Something like that. And then I've got to get some of my um, green oxide out. I need to get that in here. One shade I did not bring out to my palette. So let me get my green oxide. I'm hoping it's available easy find here. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, so this is Chrome Oxide Green, and uh, probably going to mix a little yellow in with this because it's more of like a yellow green, almost like a um, camo green color. Let me just get my yellow on here. I'm going to add a little bit of raw sienna in this also just to give it that <clears throat> camo shade. Ooh, boy, that came out quick. Mm. <clears throat> I hate to waste paint. That's just the perfect shade right there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. So around his little area here, we've got <clears throat> right in his cheek area, there's this shade. Just kind of tapping it in. Nothing drastic here. Just using it off that. Um... Uh, let's see here, let's see, there's some in through here, like right in here, just going to blend that on top of that, kind of, kind of just goes all the way into this, and it's just sporadic in through here, so, you know, just tap it in however you like. It's up to you, really. You don't even have to do it if you don't want to. I mean, I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but it kind of just gives it a little pizzazz. I like pizzazz. <laughs> Let's 
some up and through his little snout area. Not a lot, but some. Because there's a lot of that pinky color. There's some, let's see, right in here around this. Here. Some in through here. Around here. Okay, so that darker shade is right in that, those areas, and there's just a little bit of this in here, so I'm going to put some of that in there, too, while I see it. Okay, and the purpose of this was to get around this ear here, because that's where it's at. Some of it. I think we're good there. Just tap a little of that in there here. Oh, some of it's on his little eye here, too. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Now I'm going to get, just going to use the tip of my brush here. area in the black comes down. This is almost like his little eyelid. He has a little eyelid. Okay, so we're going to tap in some of this. I'm going to kind of gray this down a bit. I want that to be a little bit more gray. around here so I'm just tapping it in around here and uh, this little spot right in here I think I want that to be a little bit more dull right in here a little dull this pinkish shade around his little nose because I guess it's showing me that it's warmer here it's warmth even though this is like a cool shade Get, uh, let me get to the orange areas. Let me have a swig of coffee. I probably really need... Oh, look at this. It's starting to actually shape up. Everything looks crappy until it starts to fall together. So I'm going to start using some of my orange. And this is going to be actually pretty bright. Uh, it's not going to be dull. 
orange. There are some areas that, well, it has like a little bit of a pinkishness to it. You know what? I could add a little bit of my raw umber or my raw sienna into my orange. Kind of dull it a little bit. Okay, so what we'll do is just kind of get that orange in here. Kind of go over some of that. Bring it in. from here it is kind of orangish a little bit of orange here kind of over that green some okay get that in there there's also some gray in there so we're gonna put that in too <clears throat> A lot of gray in his coat. A lot of gray. That's the gray right there. Now I know when uh, grayscale paints, he doesn't do all this. He just goes right at it. <laughs> I don't know. I just love doing this. I don't know why, but uh, to me, it's a lot of fun just to get these little shades in here and. You know, see, seeing this start to come around. Okay, so I'm going to add a little white into my camo green here that I made. And I'm also going to add a little bit more yellow to this. If you ever get a chance you want to go and see grayscale he's he's great he does some neat stuff beautiful florals landscapes going to start making this like kind of the strokes going curved. Um, this is the way he is and we want to make sure that he gets like that curvature in there. So I'm just kind of curving my brush as I'm doing this. Making little half C's almost. Just tap it in there a couple places. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there's some orangish colors in here, so I'm going to get those in. Absolute orangish colors right in through here. through here. Oh, it looks like I dripped some uh, water here. A little bit of orange right in through here. Comes down. There's some pinkish cat colors that are kind of drabish pink. It's like an orange pink. So I'm going to mix a little of my orange in with my pink shade here. Get a nice orange, and that comes around here. I 
this uh, actually makes you see the picture differently to the way you know how the different shades are it, it makes you see what's underneath and it helps you to understand the way the coat is going um, just how important this really is when you think about it it's very important to get this in some yellows and whites so I'll have to check that out um, just trying to figure now where some of these oranges are going to be he's as cute as can be right now he looks a little weird <laughs> I promise he'll start to shape up he will shape up okay a little break here so I can get a little drink here yellow in through here so I'm gonna mix a little yellow and white because yellow is so uh, transparent there's not much yellow in his coat here but Right here, it's bright because I guess this is where the light's going to be shining on him. So you want to get that in there. A couple little spots there. And I'm going to get my orange that I mixed and actually mix a little white with that also. around this area of pink here <clears throat> grab some more of my orange because I want that to be a little darker this is almost like a painterly style too you can see some of that painterly look in through here <clears throat> And the other parts of that are gray. So I'll get some lighter mix of gray here. My uh, paints are kind of drying up fast, so it's like really warm in my studio. I got the air conditioner on, but it's just really warm. Lots of humidity today in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> down right in through there and there's like a big section here of white light 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 and uh, believe it or not there's some purple in through here just a little bit right in through here got some purple and some blue right tapping it in tapping that in there just a little bit to give it some of that cast off I guess from the water just kind of giving that look there and then if there's like this darker gray that's coming out from the black here mixes with this and 
and that gray comes into this area also. Right along that green. So I'm going to get this gray in because we're going to tap some other colors throughout this here. So let me get this in. Okay. So I'm going to tap some, um, oh, some black even is into this area. So let's tap that in a little bit. Oh, this is still wet. It's kind of tapping it in. Okay. Get some of that gray, magenta gray. I'm going to squirt some water onto my palette there because it's drying up like really quick. going to tap it in because it's not really um, blended at all. It's just there. It's just there. So I'm going to grab some of my camo green. I'm just going to tap it from the side of my brush here. Almost mixing it with my brush into the red there. Almost blending that black in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my orange. Just uh, put a little bit of that in through here, too. Kind of goes into a... Like that. Okay. Now, um, on this area right here, it's pretty light. So let's get some of this in here. Right in here, it's light. Comes out like here. Okay. It's kind of light right in here. See, this takes quite a long time to get this done. That's why it's got to be in two parts. Um, because of the length of time it takes. Okay, let's get some of this dark in here, so it comes around really amazingly around here, it's down. right in through here, underneath his eye. There's some of this dark in through here, too.
okay let's see here some around here it's dark Actually, I'd like to get more white into this too, making it very light. So if I can just mix it onto the canvas here, because this is very light in through here, and I want that to be very light. It's almost like a light purple, uh, grayish white purple let's see here a little bit of white into my gray purple because it's very light but yet it's a purpley shade instead of gray and make sure you leave that little white right there because you want that highlight Okay, a little bit of red right in here. Okay, some of this uh, red, um, yellow green in through here. Not a lot, just some, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a little bit more gray and white. I really want this to be light. This should be a lot lighter here, a lot lighter. a lot of paint on my brush see as things dry they get darker and it's, you want to make sure it's light very light This is dark. <clears throat> it's around his snout. I'm just gonna kind of make this come down here around his snout. <clears throat> okay, so now we just have to get this area, which is all quite light, very light in here. 
there. So we're going to just kind of use like a light orange. Just going to mix it. Can have a little gray in there. It's all right. orangey. A lot of yellows and oranges. I'm going through these quite a bit. Let me get some yellow here too. There's some yellow right in his eye area here. Here, got that. It's kind of like mostly around his eye here. Probably pink and lots of pinkish colors, like that dull pink. So I'm going to add some white to this. here right in that area yeah so I start getting when I start to concentrate I don't talk very much so um, sorry about that Get very quiet. So I'm thinking about starting a vlog um, station where I talk to some of the artists on uh, YouTube. I'm not sure how that will go down, but I'd like to start one. Uh, I think it would be kind of neat to just talk to different artists and how they do their work and how they come up with their ideas and I think it would be kind of fun to check that out. I think right in here I have some of that pink. And then this here is black also. So I don't know why I'll skip that one. Um, let me get some of that pink here. And it comes in a little bit like here. There's some really light gray in through here. Comes in like here, come up. Okay. It's okay if some of that uh, pink is on my brush. It kind of gives it a little bit more Some of that camo green. We're almost at the point where I can stop. Just have to get that little section in, but uh, it's coming along. Coming along. I don't know if I've lost my audience, if anybody's still here. Bit of 
pink in there, a little bit of that pink. And actually, this needs to be a little smaller. And that works itself out. But right in here where I was headed, this here, it's almost like a heart shape right in here. And let me get some of that light gray. Rinse out my brush. Light gray through here. I might have to get his little whiskers in after. Um, I think that's an orange shade there. And uh, let's see, let's see. More orange. Get some more of that orange in. This is quite orangey here. Just kind of blending it down, blending this in too. Yeah, once you get it on there, you can work with it a little bit orange here, come through here, some orange. Okay, let's get some of that lighter orange here. Let's see. Okay, so we're coming this way, kind of going. Let me put a little bit of that. Here we go. This is better here. A little darker. A little bit darker. Now I know this is probably a painting that probably someone that has a little bit more experience can do. Um, it's not a beginner painting. But I think that if you just follow what I'm doing, you probably could do this. I don't you know, everything takes time and practice. It's just the way it goes. Okay, I'm going to get some of that nice red in there, too. Some of this here. Some of that nice pinky shade in. Pinks, a little bit of pinks around his eye. the orange lighter orange here comes up we gotta get some gray in here too and I think I gotta get more black into this area here it kind of goes out some got like a nice little dark patch of nose here. And 
this is kind of like where his little mouth is. Okay. This comes around. Comes around here. Just kind of blends in there some. Okay. And there is some of this green, this camo green, around here, tapping it in. There's not a lot of it, but it's tapped in some. There's actually some of that up in here also. definitely have some in through here. And there is some in through here a bit. down into his snout here like just tapping it in here just tapping it and this part is not as big it's always doing this I see same here very very small some of that nice pink in there it's uh right here kind of get dull and that's fine because we want that not real bright it's part of his mouth all right so let's see we have some of this greenish yellow green in there so I'm gonna make some more of that uh, the camo almost finished with this part so then we'll finish this up next week a little bit more of this uh, quinacridone and gray. Right in here, 
there's um blue and purple in his coat. I'm gonna start out with the purple. Get that in there. And then I'm gonna add this blue right next to it. Hard to believe there's some blue in there, but yep, there is. And uh, more of this gray. I want to get more of this in here. Okay. Um, looks like some of this green here is there, but I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. Ooh. a tad of pink I guess that's okay because it's gonna be cast off anyways needs to go around come down through here and some white Just grab some on the tip of my brush here kind of white things going in here. Lighter areas. And a little bit of pink right here. Got some of that in that eye too. All right, so it looks like we have him all finished here as far as um, getting the base in. So next week we will just finish him up. Looks like this piece right here should be orange. Okay. And um, if you have any questions in the meantime, you can post them and I will answer them. Uh, I'll be happy to answer your, answer your questions. Just get some of this lighter shade in there and some of this orange, I mean greenish yellow, sorry. Uh, looks like it's around here a little bit more here. Okay. We're just tapping it in here a little bit more, smoothing it out some. that. So that's the way he looks so far. And uh, the way it looks, it looks pretty good. I mean, I, I think uh, it'll be a lot easier now. The next step will be to paint him. And like I said, I won't have the, uh, the sketch, you know, tracing up on, on Patreon until this is all complete. Um, I kind of just like you to watch this first and then if you're interested in trying to paint it, you can go ahead and, and do so. Uh, so I guess until next time, uh, we'll see you. You guys have a good week and we'll see you next Thursday. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.